Welcome to Countax. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at effective interest rate and nominal interest rate using the financial calculator, the HP 10B2+. We're going to do how to switch. I'm going to show you how to switch from one to another, from effective to nominal and from nominal to effective. We have a few examples here which will help you thoroughly understand how to do this using this financial calculator. Now we have done a lesson on effective and nominal interest rates and we explained in great detail what they are and how they work. So you'll find the link to that lesson in the description below. So how do you do this using this calculator? Well, let's go through a few, a few examples. The first one says a bank charges 12% per annum compounded annually. What is the effective interest rate? Now one thing we know is that the effective interest rate will always be higher than your nominal interest rate. Okay, and we explained that when we did the lesson I just referred to. So we are told here that a bank charges 12% per annum compounded annually. What is the effective interest rate? Another thing we note here is that if it's compounded annually, your effective interest rate will always be the same as your nominal interest rate. But let me show you how it works with this calculator. The first thing that you need to do is to put in the nominal interest rate. So this example says a bank charges 12% per annum compounded annually. Okay, so this one here would be your nominal interest rate. And we ask what is the effective interest rate? Okay, so let's put the nominal interest rate of 12%. So I put 12 and then I press the orange button. And then I press here, where it's written I slash YR. You can see under it is written nominal percentage, okay? And then once I've done that, I put the payments per year, which is annually. So I press 1, and then I press the orange button, and then I press P slash YR, okay, where it's written PMT. And then I press the orange button, and then I press here, where it's written PV. You can see under it is written effective percentage, okay? And there we have it. The effective interest rate is exactly the same as the nominal interest rate because it's compounded annually. Okay, but if it's compounded more than annually, then they will be different. Okay, if it's compounded more than once per year, they'll be different. Okay, and your effective will always be higher than your nominal. So let's take a look at the second example. Here we are told that the bank charges 12% per annum compounded monthly. What is the effective interest rate? What is the effective interest rate? So we have a nominal interest rate of 12%, but here it's compounded monthly. So we are asked what is the effective interest rate? Again, let me just clear my memory. Okay, so we need now to put in the 12% nominal interest rate. So I press 12, the orange button, and then I press I slash YR. Okay, and then there it has put the nominal interest rate. And then I press the number of compoundings per year. We are told here it's compounded uh, monthly. So that's 12 compoundings per year. So I put 12, and then I press the orange button. And then I press here where it's written PMT. And then once I've done that, I just need to press the orange button and press where it's written PV to calculate the effective interest rate. And you can see that the effective interest rate is 12.68%. And that's how you do it with this calculator. Let's take a look at a few more examples. Number three tells us that a deposit earns 7% per annum compounded quarterly. What is the effective interest rate? What is the effective interest rate? So let me just clear my memory again. Okay, so it's 7%. Nominal rate, so I'm going to put 7, then the orange button, and then I slash YR. And then I need to put the number of compoundings per year. It's quarterly, so that's four compoundings in one year. So I put four, orange button, and then PMT, okay? And then I just need to compute my effective interest rate. So I just press the orange button, and then I press PV. And that has given me the effective interest rate is 7.19%, okay? Let's look at the fourth example. What is the nominal interest rate compounded quarterly if the effective interest rate is 9% per annum. Now, here we are going from effective to nominal interest rate. Before, all the other examples have been going from nominal to effective. Okay, so we're going to be from effective to nominal. Okay, so let me just clear my memory. Okay, so we are asked what is the nominal interest rate compounded quarterly if the effective interest rate is 9% per annum. Okay, so let's put in the effective interest rate of 9%. Press 9 orange button and then we press pv where it's written eff underneath okay and then we put in the number of compoundings per year which is four okay it's compounded uh quarterly that's what it says so we put four and then we press the orange button and then we press here it's written pmt and it is written p slash yr which is the payments per year okay and then all we need to do is just press the orange button and then press i slash yr for nominal interest rate and there we have it our nominal interest rate is 8.71 percent and what you can already see here is that effective, like I mentioned, is always higher than your nominal. Our effective was 9, and you can see our nominal is 8.71%. 8 okay, now let's do the fifth example. We are told that 
we asked what is the effective interest rate for a nominal interest rate of 20% per annum compounded daily. Okay, so now here we have daily compounding. So let me clear my memory. We have daily compounding. So we're going to take daily com compounding and assume 365 days. So that's what we're going to do with this one. So let's put in the nominal interest rate of 20%. Press 20. Then you press the orange button. And then you press I slash YR. And then you put in the number of compoundings per year. We are told it's compounded daily. So that's 365. And then you press orange. And then you press PMT. And then it registers the number of compoundings per year. And then we just press the orange button and then we press here, it's written PV for the nomin for the effective interest rate. And there we have it, 22.13%. That is the effective interest rate. Now let's look at the last example, number six. Let me just clear my memory. Okay, we are asked here, what is the nominal interest rate compounded monthly if you are charged 10.5% compounded quarterly? So what is happening here? We are moving from nominal to nominal because if it's compounded quarterly, if you are charged 10.5% compounded quarterly, that is nominal. And here we asked what is the nominal interest rate compounded monthly. So we are moving from a nominal interest rate of quarterly to a nominal interest rate of monthly. How do you do this? Well, here I wrote a note down here. Just read it. When changing from nominal to nominal with different compounding, first compute effective, then back to nominal. Okay. So now we have to go from compounded quarterly of 10.5%, which is the nominal, and then to get the effective interest rate, and then we work from effective interest rate back to monthly compounding of nominal interest rate. So let me show you how to do this. We are charged 10.5 interest compounded quarterly, and we know that's nominal. So we put 10.5, and then we press orange button, and then we press where it's written I slash YR for the nominal percentage. Okay, and then we put the number of compoundings per year, well, it's compounded quarterly. So I put four, that's four compoundings per year, orange button, and then PMT. And then all I need to do is to press the orange button and press PV to get the effective interest rate. And you can see there we have the effective interest rate of 10.92%. Okay, now we can work from effective back to nominal of compounded monthly. Okay, so let me just clear my screen. Okay, so I just press 10.92 that we just calculated effective interest rate. And then I press the orange button and then I press PV to put in the effective interest rate. And then I put the number of compounding. Now it's monthly. Okay, so I put 12 and then I press the orange button and then I press PMT. And then all I need to do is just press the orange button and press I slash YR. And there we have the nominal interest rate of 10.41%. Okay, so you can see here we move from a nominal interest rate of 10.5% compounded quarterly to a nominal interest rate of 10.41% compounded monthly. Okay, I hope it has made sense. I hope you now know how to do the, 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 the effective interest rate, how to change it from effective to nominal and from nominal to effective using the financial calculator, the HP 10B2+. If you'd like to check out more lessons on this calculator, you'll find the links to them on the, in the description below. Otherwise, if you have gained value from this lesson, please subscribe to our channel, like this video, and share it to those you think it might help. And if you want to check out how you can support us, you'll find the link to that as well in the description below. Till next time. Cheers.